What's going on guys? I've got here this 2011 Dodge Ram 1500 and I'm using this car to point out to you the location of the fuse for the fuel pump. I'm gonna give you some troubleshooting steps for what to look out for. And I'm also gonna show you how to determine if your fuel pump is receiving power. So to begin, we're gonna be opening up this fuse box here. There are tabs on the front that you just push in and lift this up into the rear. For further clearance, you can actually just remove this and set it aside. Now there is a fuse puller here that could be useful for you. And first I'm gonna show you the fuse. So it's gonna be in position 25, which is this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out just to show you what a good fuse looks like. We can see this fuse is in good shape. Now what's cool about this fuse is if you look carefully at it, there is exposed metal on the top of the fuse. And the fuse receives power when the fuel pump relay is engaged or when the run start relay is engaged, depending on your level of trim and what size engine you have. So if you never see power at that exposed metal, then you may be having a relay issue. Now on this car, we've got our run start relay right here. There is no fuel pump relay on this. This has got the 3.7 liter. So on this engine, if you never see power there, you may want to switch that relay with another relay. Now let's say that your fuel pump is receiving power, uh, but you need to know if it's actually delivering fuel to the engine. So the, the fuel rail is here, and there's a fuel line that receives pressurized fuel through here. We can check to see if there's actually pressurized fuel present in the system. So over here on the passenger side, we can find a Schrader valve. So it's gonna be right here. So what you can do with that, if you have a fuel pressure gauge, you can hook up the gauge to this and see if you're getting pressurized fuel. I believe the spec for this engine is 55 PSI. Uh, please do correct me down below if you know that I'm wrong. And even if you don't have a gauge, you can still do a very basic rudimentary test to see if you're receiving pressurized fuel. If you just depress the tip of the Schrader valve with a blunt object, So we can see here there is fuel present, and this by no means is a like in very indicative test, but uh, it'll just give you an idea of whether or not you're getting any pressure at all. So yeah, I hope that this information was helpful for you, or at the very least a good starting point in troubleshooting the fuel pump and the fuel system on your Dodge Ram 1500 truck. Comment down below if you have any questions or more importantly, any advice, and thanks for watching.